Sky, and today we are talking to Ramona Har. She is a jewelry designer, and we're speaking about how she is able to showcase our Philippine heritage to through her beautiful designs. So, Ramona, thank you once again for being with us. I know you have a book out called Ramona Har, yes. showcasing all the beautiful designs that uh, you've done. And we were talking about your beautiful necklace, but I want to understand how were you able to research sort of the designs of our past? Okay, mm -hmm. this is what happened. While taking my gemology degree with GIA, I was researching history of jewelry. Mm. And I stumbled upon a book by a New Zealand archaeologist. Her name is Anne Reichter. And in her book on Southeast Asia jewelry, she has a whole chapter about the Philippine jewelry and its history. Mm. And in that book, she said, and I quote, that excavations in uh, West, uh, no, not central in uh, some southern islands in the Philippines have revealed gold ornaments that were extraordinary beauty and uh, technical sophistication. And I don't know if you guys are aware that uh, the Banco Central in the Philippines, they have in their permanent exhibit examples of uh, belts that were uh, woven of fine gold and the granulation, and Anne Reichter have described this royal sashes of finely woven gold. It is the granular decoration, and the delicateness and the density of this decoration were equal to that of the work of the Etruscans. Now, if you have heard of the Etruscans, they're considered to be the best of the best. And uh, just to give you a, uh, a short history, Filigree and granulation, if you can see this piece here, mm -hmm. filigree is the use of fine wires. And then granulation is usually a technique that is used with, uh, with filigree. Mm -hmm. And it is the decoration of using small, small minute granules. Mm -hmm. And granulation is considered as the, the best or the most amazing uh, technical achievement of ancient uh, jewelry makers. Okay, so ang yes. sinasabi niyo po sa akin that the craft, craftsmanship of our jewelry from the past is, is, is world class. Yes, it is. It is. But what is so, and, and that is one of the reasons that I have done this book. Mm -hmm. I want to help spread the story. It's like a well-kept secret, mm. but why should, be, why should it be a secret? That's right. And one thing is that this this technique has supposed to have died out with Etruscans. The granulation has already been used. This technique has already been used 5,000 years ago by the Sumerians. But the granules were too large and the work was crude. Mm. It was the Etruscans who have perfected the technique around 700 to 600 BC. But the Etruscans were assimilated into the Roman uh, culture, hence granulation, the art of granulation died out with the Etruscans. Mm. However, trading between West Asia and East Asia in the ancient times, Filipinos have acquired the skill. How? How that is this is possible? That is actually a mystery yes. because we already traded, but I think archaeological evidence are showing now that early Filipinos have, we have already traded with West Asians long before the Spaniards came, long before even the Arab traders came to the Philippines. This is fascinating. Yes, it is. And that's what I'm trying to help with my book, mm -hmm. to spread the story. Because not very many people, even Filipinos, don't know about the story. And it shouldn't be a secret. Right. Because how could it be that something, the Western Craftsmen have tried to revive the art of granulation for centuries mm -hmm. without success. Mm -hmm. And here we are in the Philippines, and I think that the Philippine government or the tourism or whoever should do a better job of trying to showcase our heritage. Because yes. this is something that we could really tell the world, hey, we are world class. We are considered to be 
rivaled only by the best of the best, which are the Etruscans. Yes, and it shows that you've really done your research and you've put this in because your book. Because this is my inspiration. This is why I created what I call the Maharlika Collection. Ayan, okay. Yes. Pagbalik natin dito sa Kababayan today, pag-uusapan natin yan, the Maharlika Collection of Ramona Har. We'll be right back. <music>